The city of Bristol, set inland on the Avon River and with access to the Bristol Channel, has an illustrious history as one of England's oldest ports. It was a favored port of departure for the New World following John Cabot's voyage to North America in 1497. To help you navigate this brilliant city, here's our pick of the sights you totally shouldn't miss. Number 1 Bristol Floating Harbor The old port of Bristol on the Avon River has been given a new and imaginative lease of life, with many of its old wharves and warehouses restored or converted for contemporary uses. Traditionally known as the Floating Harbor, the area is now home to numerous museums and galleries. Number 2 ST Mary Redcliffe When Queen Elizabeth I visited Bristol in 1574, she described ST. Mary Redcliffe as the fairest parish church in England. Built in the 13th century and extensively renovated in the 15th century in the Baroque style, the church is located on the south side of Floating Harbour and takes its name from the red cliffs on which it stands. Number 3 Bristol Cathedral Built originally as the Church of the St. Augustine Abbey, Bristol Cathedral took almost 600 years to achieve its present form. The East End, superbly rebuilt in the decorated style by Abbot Knoll, dates from between 1298 and 1330. The central tower and transepts were completed in the 16th century, and the nave and towered west facade are from the 19th century. The church was elevated to cathedral status in 1542. Number 4 Brunel's SS Great Britain The SS Great Britain, the world's first iron-hulled passenger ship, lives on at the same dock from which the great vessel was launched in 1843. The work of the famed engineer Isambard Kingdom Brunel, it also was the first use of screw propellers on a ship. Number 5 Landoger Tro The famous Triple Gabled, half-timbered Landoger Tro building in King Street, built in 1664, is where Alexander Selkirk is said to have told the story of his shipwreck to Daniel Defoe, who immortalized the tale in Robinson Crusoe. Number 6 Clifton Suspension Bridge Another work of the famed British engineer I. K. Brunel, and one of his first, the spectacular Clifton Suspension Bridge spans the 260-foot-deep Avon Gorge on the west side of the limestone plateau known as Clifton Down and Durdham Down. Measuring 702 feet between its piers, the bridge was completed in 1864, 33 years after Brunel had first submitted his prize-winning plans. Number 7 Bristol Old City Bristol Old City is a warren of historic buildings from a long stretch of the city's history. One of the most photographed landmarks is St. Stephen's Church on St. Stephen's Avenue, the parish church of Bristol, which dates from 1476. Look inside for the tomb of Martin Pring, the discoverer of Cape Cod Bay in Massachusetts, and for the colorful effigy of George Snig. Number 8 Bristol Museum and Art Gallery Part of Bristol Museums, an association of six fine museums in the city, Bristol Museum and Art Gallery has three floors filled with Egyptian mummies, wildlife, dinosaurs, gemstones, glass, pottery, oriental arts, and a collection of old masters. An entire section is devoted to I. K. Brunel and his many technical achievements. Number 9 Blaise Castle House a late 18th-century mansion house and estate, Blaise Castle House provides a feel for the lifestyle of a prosperous family on a country estate. The picture room, with a domed glass ceiling, is decorated with paintings, and the house is known for its collections of children's toys, including doll houses and furniture, trains, and toy soldiers. Number 10 Cheddar Gorge Located just 18 miles from Bristol, the spectacular Cheddar Gorge makes for an excellent day trip. Highlights of this national nature reserve include its dramatic 450-foot cliffs and stunning stalactite caverns. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.